In this video, we're going to show you how to add cards to your 3x logic system and associate them to a person. Now, this only applies to the web based version, not the cloud. So, if you have the cloud, we have another video up on our channel that will show you how to do that. So, here I am, I have the web browser already open. I'm going to go ahead and type in the IP address. You would have gotten this IP address during the install from the installer. Um, if you didn't, if you contact them, they can give that to you. We're going to go ahead and click on admin. And the default is admin and the password is admin. But here in the office, we've changed ours, um, which can be done during the install. So we're going to go ahead and go to card holders. Now, as we see here, there's already two here. Um, we're going to click on add. So we need to find our site code. So what you need to do is take a one of your key cards or key fobs and scan the door. As you can see here the card was denied and that will show up whenever we go back to our events tab. Once you've scanned the card you're gonna go ahead and click on cancel click on events. So the key card is gonna show up here and as you can see it says 8324686. Six. Now the first set of numbers it could be two numbers it could be three numbers is your site code. Your second set is the card code. So we're going to go up here to card holders. We're going to click on add. We're going to type in 83. And the card code was 24686. Go ahead and put this as Mike Phillips. And click OK. Now it's going to tell me this because I'm already attached to the cloud. but and you go back you'll see here that it says that reference number and you'll show up here first name and last name as you've entered it you click on events and it will have said access granted and access restricted you'll see a few of these here that say unknown card before you whenever you went to scan it that's normal what that's doing is you're scanning the card before it's in the system and it shows up like that. Afterwards, it would have come up as access granted, access restricted. Now, if you've got a bundle of cards that came all together, if you ordered them all together, 99% of the time, the all the site codes are the same for that specific pack. Same goes with FOBs. Now, when you mix and match them, they will definitely have different site codes, so you need to watch mixing and matching FOBs and cards.